abnormal sensations, muscle spasms, stiffness, weakness, mobility issues, pain. FDA approved. It's not a new drug. It's not a new device. It's a biologic for relapsing multiple sclerosis. What is a biologic? Many people have not heard about biologics. They know what a drug is. They know what devices are. I work on devices all the time over here at Into Being. But what's a biologic? A biologic starts with living cells or microorganisms. And this then leads us to the idea of what is called a biosimilar. So if I make another set of this, Unlike a drug, where I could make the identically same thing, in the world of biologics, this is not going to be identical. Whatever I make over here is not going to be identical as the thing on the left. And that's why we call this a biosimilar. Now, you may already be aware of this, but these are regulated by different agencies at the FDA. So drugs are regulated by the CDER, Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. Devices that we work a lot with it into being CDRH, Center for Devices and Radiological Health. Biologics covered by CBER, Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research. And so what we have uh, today is the first biosimilar, not the first biologic. There was a biologic clear that we'll talk about um, shortly. We're not talking about drugs today. We're talking about biologics. And what just happened yesterday was the first biosimilar that has the same indications. It's treating the same thing as this biologic that came out. But now there is another one on the market, and so it's called a biosimilar. So from FDA, both a biosimilar and its original biologic are made from the same types of sources. Those are living sources or microorganisms. They provide the same benefits when treating diseases or medical conditions. They're given at the same strength and dosage, and they're not expected to cause new or worsening side effects. Some of the things that biologics are used for, chronic skin diseases such as psoriasis, chronic bowel disease such as colon, Crohn's disease, in IBS, diabetes, macular degeneration, arthritis, kidney conditions, and some cancers. So biologics are making, a, uh, making waves. FDA also says this, compared with an original biologic, a biosimilar is made with the same type of natural sources. It's given the same way. It provides the same treatment benefits, has the same potential side effects. We'll talk about that in a second and has the same strength and dosage. Interestingly enough, before we go to the particular biologic that was released, insulin, insulin for diabetics, it was always regulated as a drug historically. But insulin is made in living cells. So insulin and other drugs that meet the criteria for a biologic are now regulated as biologics. This doesn't change the ingredients of insulin or how you obtain medication at the pharmacy. This is all from FDA. This is not our uh, language. But insulin is now being treated, I guess, as it should have been, as a biologic. So what's new? Well, this is the new biosimilar. It's called Tyruco. And this is the one by the company Sandoz Inc. that is for relapsing multiple sclerosis. Again, this is not medical or legal advice. Talk to your doctor if you have any uh, thoughts about this. We're just fascinated by the clearance processes, the clearance processes for these things that are neither drugs nor devices but are biologics. Well, what is the original biologic upon which Tyruco is based? It's called Tysabri. And it's uh, doing the same thing. It's for this type of relapsing multiple sclerosis. But it turns out that back in 2006, Tysabri was, during its clinical trial, was pulled temporarily before, I'm uh, sorry, it's February 2005, 
uh, right here. It was withdrawn by its maker, Biogen IDEC, and the distributor, Elon, after three patients in clinical trials developed progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. I think I got that out which is a viral infection of the brain, a rare one at that, but two cases were fatal. So it turns out, as I was reading about uh, Tysabri uh, and about Tyruco, this is still a concern, but there have now been things done to reduce the likelihood that it would have this kind of an outcome. And so uh, Tysabri being back on the market, Tyruco now being approved by FDA as a biosimilar, although with concerns about this PML um, outcome. And so a uh, new hope for people with relapsing multiple sclerosis. Again, this is not uh, something that we're giving uh, medical or legal advice, but we did find it fascinating that this new pathway at FDA, biosimilars, the ability to clear things that are not identical, but that are derived from living cells and other microorganisms, well, if that was useful to you, like and subscribe at MedTech Crossroads. What we offer here for free will help you save you headaches on your MedTech development journey.